Yeah, we're here at Oslo Freedom Forum and uh, meeting one of the speakers, Maryam Nayeb Yasti. Um, she's an Iranian-Canadian human rights activist and the editor-in-chief of Persian to English, a website that exposes human rights violations in Iran to an international audience. And Yasti is also the North American spokesperson for Iran human rights. Very nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> uh, please tell us uh, something about you and being here. Um, well, you said, it, you said it very well. I'm here uh, at the Oslo Freedom Forum to deliver a talk on uh, the death penalty in Iran and how the regime uh, in Iran uses the death penalty to spread fear among civil society and to suppress civil society into silence. <laughs> Um, we've noticed in the track record of the Iranian regime that every time that political dissent becomes more, uh, the executions also increase. So this happened in the 1980s, and now it's happening after the 2009 presidential election, which is arguably known as a fraudulent election. Mm. And you told us earlier about the uh, European section in, and how it's presented. Uh, well, the United Nations Office of Drugs and Crime has specific country-specific programs. Their program on Iran is funded by member countries of the UN. Now, what is your case? The part that's concerning to human rights activists is these countries that are funding the UN ODC drug program are democratic countries who are against the death penalty, who don't have the death penalty in their own countries, and who are supporters of democracy. And essentially the Iranian people's uh, uh, goal of achieving democracy. However, the UN ODC drug program is divided into three subcategories, crime and punishment, border control, and rehabilitation. Most European countries believe that um, they are not funding the crime and punishment section. They say we are funding the re rehabilitation section and the border control, which is wonderful. I support that as well. <laughs> yeah. However, the problem with that is you cannot technically monitor where that money is being used inside the, the regime. It's hard to monitor that. And at the same time, the Iranian regime is executing a significant amount of prisoners for drug-related charges behind closed doors, without due process, without access to a lawyer, and with televised confessions that were extracted under torture. That's how the regime kills people for drug-related charges. We are not sure if these prisoners actually had uh, committed drug-related offenses. It's hard to tell when there's no due process. Even though these country, member countries are not offering the regime money for crime and punishment, mm -hmm. the fact that they are funding the UN ODC drug program is excusing the regime's actions of executing Iranians for drug-related charges. These drugs are being kept out of the European countries through this UN ODC drug program by funding the border controls. Uh, France, for instance, uh, funds sniffing dogs, gives them sniff sniffing dogs to Iran. So that's keeping the drugs out of Europe. And unfortunately, as an activist, I feel that perhaps the European countries are less responsive to the executions in Iran, rather, other than condemning them in statements, because they are benefiting from this UN ODC drug program because the drugs are being kept out of their country, which is fantastic. And Denmark has recently taken a, yes. taken a stand against exactly. this. Yeah, Denmark recently took a stand and said, since the Iranian regime is executing for drug-related charges and we are against executions, we cannot justify. We have to take a stand. Why we, why we fund it? We have to take a stance. Um, until the Iranian regime changes their ways. And as activists, as Iranian activists against the death penalty, we believe that other countries who are funding the UN ODC drug program should follow Denmark's lead. Not to necessarily cut their funding fully, 
but perhaps make their funding conditional on the regime not executing for drug-related charges. This isn't a problem. It's more than just a problem. It's an epidemic. And the reason is because in 2012 alone, there were more than 600 executions in Iran. 76% of those executions were for drug-related offenses. Considering no due process and all that, we're not sure if they're drug-related offenses in the first place. So these are actual human beings being executed in the hundreds every year. And we have to take a stance against this. Because that money that's being given to the UNODC drug program are the taxpayers' money. And the taxpayers at least have the right to know where their money is being spent. Thank you. Thank you.